when we talk about is compute, what we're really talking about is this. We're talking about large scale, coordination free, distributed systems. Um, but beyond this, but even beyond this, I think like the term edge compute is also a misnomer. Um, all right. So there's this guy, John Gage. Um, he was formerly the chief scientist at Sun Microsystems. Um, you know, may they rest in peace. Uh, he was also, fun fact, a former member of uh, Richard Nixon's enemies list in like the 1970s. Totally irrelevant to the story, but anyway. Um, but what he was saying, uh, he, he had this like really amazing quote that actually become, like, uh, became a thing that Sun Microsystems talked about for a long time, which was the network is the computer, right? Um, what he was talking about there is the compounding effects of having networked computers and humans working uh, simultaneously, right? But I think it also applies to this thing of, that we talk about with edge compute. So my question is, like, where does your application live, right? Some of you might say, oh, okay, my application lives in AWS. Others might say, oh, I'm actually a mobile developer. My application lives on the phone. Or maybe you're like a video developer. My application lives in the browser, in the video player, right? Um, the thing is, though, that like, your application doesn't live in a single place, and it's not a single thing, right? Your application is actually more like a tree. Um, if you look at the, like, the root as the origin, all the way out to like, the devices as the leaves of this tree. So even if you're like, not actually intending to build a distributed system, that is, in fact, what you are typically doing, right? Um, I mean, why? Why is that the case? Right, so we, we certainly, like in most applications at this point, we have certain logic that runs at the origin, we have certain logic that runs at the device, why do we do that? Because certain things are more efficient or only possible at certain parts of this like network tree, right? Like we could, in fact, render every frame of an iOS app on the server and just like, you know, display it there, but that's totally silly, why would you do that? It's much more efficient to just do the display in iOS. Likewise. You could store all of every user's data on every user's phone. However, that's really not, clearly not what you actually want to do, right? So there are certain places in this network where certain things are more efficient and more reasonable. Um, but when we talk about this, we always talk about it as like, oh, you know, we do things at the device, we do things at the origin, but there's more steps in there, right? Oh, there we go. Um, Right, so if you're using Fastly, if you're using some other, like maybe you're using Amazon like Lambda or something like that, right? There are more steps between your origin and your device than just that one network hop. So it, it could go even further than that, right? It could actually be all sorts of things in between there. Um, what we refer to as edge compute, in my opinion, the way I look at it, is actually more about pushing logic that was traditionally done at this origin out to the branches and the leaves of this tree. Um, but it actually, in, in my opinion, goes far beyond like logic. What we're actually talking about in these cases is autonomy, which, again, Chris Mickeljohn talked about um, in a certain way in his talk yesterday, talking about the idea of different pieces of this network being able to function without access to the other pieces. So the other part of like edge compute that I feel like is missing that isn't really discussed all that much at the moment, um, but I feel like is actually like a big missing piece is that no one really thinks about the fact that the economics of computation change depending on where in that network you are, where in that tree you are. Computation actually becomes more expensive the further out from that origin you get. Like getting computation power in Ashburn, Virginia or in San Jose, right? Very easy, very cheap. Getting it in like the data center that is like in that local region in Bangladesh, much harder. Right, much more expensive, right? And so like, I feel like the other part of this that's missing, in addition to the new languages, the new frameworks, everything here, is like an actual platform for building these like edge compute applications. 